Oof. What's going on, everybody? What's going on, man? Work, 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 work. We constantly got work to do, man. Peace be upon everybody joining the video. I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, morning, night, wherever you at around the world. I hope you remain in positive. And whatever you thinking right now that's negative, whatever you thinking right now that you can't overcome, like throw those limitations out of the window and stay positive and keep pushing, go against the grain and you're gonna get there. So let's get into the topic. The topic is based off of a topic I did like a few years ago. I was talking about how they don't love you, you know, and right now, I'm on a fresh semen retention streak right now. Fresh, fresh. I went on a two month hi um, hiatus. I'm a married man. My son is seven months. I just came off of a 300 plus day semen retention streak. I took two months off, moved into a new, a new apartment. I was celebrating. And now I'm back because I'm like, hey, yo, you got to chill regardless if it's your wife. You got work to do, man. You got work to do, for real. And this topic is not a, not not me referencing like your significant other don't love you. Because let me tell you something. If y'all have a family and y'all practice a semen retention, I know y'all can relate to what I'm talking about. Like, it's a very beautiful thing to have that as a man too, like a man practicing semen retention and you have a family, you have a mouth to feed and you have, you have a rib to teach. You know what I mean? You gotta teach that rib every single day. You know, as a, as a, as a man that got a woman, that got a wife, that got a significant other and you practice semen retention too, you're gonna, make, you're gonna have more spiritual energy in the tank because you gotta use a lot of your spiritual energy to teach the opposite. So what I was realizing about society is like the most highs just started telling me this again and I started seeing it like unfold in society. And right now, I wanna say this too, the reason why I love senior retention and the reason why I, I always, no matter, no matter where you're at in life, once you practice this practice, it's always going to be that that clutch factor that you need in order to proceed with something that you need to conquer in life. That's why senior retention is so essential. And no matter your difficulties, just know by you continuously putting your foot on the gas and keep pushing regardless of the trials, the temptations, and you overcoming it, you are becoming greater and greater and greater, right? And I'm saying this too for the fellas that was on long streaks too. Y'all know what it is when, as soon as y'all get on like day two, y'all start, you know what I mean? The blankets start unfolding. Day three, y'all feeling the spiritual awareness. You know, day four, y'all feel like y'all can fly. Day five, y'all feeling like y'all on day 120, but y'all on day five. If you've been on a 200, 300 plus day streak, you know, a year streak, and then you hop back on it, you feel it every, you feel everything tenfold immediately and you start picking back up on things in society like immediately fast. Only if, only if you are ready to do this in a righteous way and you made sure that you cleaned up the baggage. You know, let's get that, let's get that right first. So look at how society is set up too, because I know a lot of people fall for the technology, the digital, the digital age, right? And even in the physical, we see the way how how men are tempted by the beauty of a woman, right? So let's talk about the beauty of a woman. Like you gotta understand, fellas, this is not to be negative, but MGTOW is a positive thing because you don't hate women, but MGTOW mean like, you know what, my nigga, I'm about to go my own way because it's hard to find love out here that somebody that's genuine for you. So you might as well love the most high so you can love yourself to the max so you can do what you got to do. And by you going your own way, something is going to be going in the same direction. And that's going to be a real, you know, bountiful thing that's going to come to your life, like real bountiful, like somebody that know how to use their hands and, you know what I'm saying, take care of the house. You know what I mean? While you got other endeavors and stuff like that, you know, it's a real beautiful thing. 
And when you look at society, you can just tell that a lot of people don't love you. Look at the look at the dynamic between the masculine and the feminine. Like, if women love men, if women love men so much, why is it so much of a tempting factor? And that's why men gotta understand, like, stop the bullshit. Like, stay to your goals, no matter how hard it gets. It's nothing like having you inside of you, man. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing to have spirit inside of you. It's important to have spirit inside of you. It always starts off with the body. It always starts off with the body. You could be a spiritually minded person, but if your temple ain't right, the spirit can't even can't even function properly. So that's why you gotta always consecrate this flesh. That's why you always gotta put a leash on this flesh. Every time, every time, every time, every release. If you a conscious dude, you aware of the times you living in right now, you don't have a veil over your eye, it's very essential for you to do this. It's very essential. Family or no family. When you build your family, hop back on it right away. Like, don't waste no time because it's real. You know, they don't love you out here, man. People want you down bad, you know. Everything is a temptation. Everything is a everything is a sexual gesture to give to to, to put suggestion in your mind to make you want to get out of character and do something. And that's not love, right? If women love, if women love men, they're gonna make sure that they, they, they're they doing it so much different, like they're doing it differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy because women know that they're a distraction. That's why they do certain things. And y'all fellas gotta understand that. Stop falling for that bullshit, for real. You like, you walk outside, you could be like, you could, when you're on semen retention, you could peep that, oh, this person's doing this for this attention, that attention, this person got this motive, this person got this motive. And when you have that motive, or no, when you have that discernment, it's like, nah, like, that's not love right there. That's strange love right there. That's strange love, man. That's strange love. And we're looking for that real love. We're looking for that real, genuine love. We 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 want to wake up and feel protected. You know what I'm saying? You want to wake up and feel the love of the most high. Like, hey, hey, you heard me. You heard me when I'm talking to you. You feel my chastisement. You, you feel it. You know what I'm saying? This is a spiritual, this is a spiritual battle, you know, and outside right now, it feels so quiet. You know what I'm saying? It feels so quiet. Well, every time, when, when, when you expel your seed, right? When you expel, when you see, <laughs> I love using that word, man. Expelled. You know what I mean? Expelled. <sighs> man. When I see, man, when I see leave that body, everything gets loud. Everything gets loud because you, you took, you took it down a notch. You went back down to a different dimension. Now you, now you hearing too much noises outside. Now people is walking past your apartment too much. Now you like, why is this community so loud? Why, why is everybody walking around? Why is this going on? Why is that going on? You like, what is going on? You see nothing but chaos, right? You feel the thickness of the of the of the bullshit, the the wickedness. That's what we call them bullshit, because wickedness is really bullshit. You know what I mean? And we gotta we gotta um we gotta make sure that we we never go into that extreme. You know, we always want to keep things under a certain conduct, you know, of how the most high or deeming things to be. So, yeah, it's going to be difficult at times, right? But the love factor is real serious. Like, they don't love you. You know, everything is a distraction. Everything is a temptation. Everything is to get your energy. We live in a time right now where everything is energy and love is a vibration as well, too. So that's energy as well, too. And a lot of people don't move with love out here. All right, that's something that we must understand as men. You know, we seeing it right now. A lot of women do not love, all right? And it's not for you to say, I hate women. 
but it's for you to sharpen up now and realize like, hey yo, if nobody gonna love me physically, that's the thing, cause psychologically you looking for love in the wrong places. Like you looking for love, but you looking for love in the wrong places. Like the most high got all the love you need currently. You know what I'm saying? And you can't deny it, can't forget it either. But on that note, man, Shalom El Kim, peace be upon you. Hallelujah. All praise to the most high, man. I appreciate y'all for joining the video. Appreciate y'all for, you know, leaving a like, commenting down below, sharing the content as well, too. And I hope y'all have a real, real, real blessed day, man. Y'all stay safe out here, man. Y'all stay positive mentally as well, too, because it is warfare. All right, peace.